It has been my honor not only to join the board of the FIT master's program this year, but also to have the privilege of partnering with an absolutely wonderful group of new leaders. You know, these young minds are so important to our industry. Uh, Stephen asked me to mention that, you know, at NPD, market data and looking at the marketplace is our job. But one of the assets we have had to look at is really how do we continually look for fresh thinking in our approach to the challenges that we're facing as an industry. Tonight, we're going to take a fresh look at aging, the new face of aging. Now, the question I think most of you may have is, does this really matter? Have you heard everything there is about aging? If you're in your 20s or 30s, does this really matter to you? Does it affect you? Do you know why this is a unique and particularly vulnerable moment in history? To address this question and all the other questions, as well as to demonstrate some of the solutions and options that we may have in addressing this critical issue, the new facing of aging, I introduce to you my group. Aging is a natural phenomenon. Yet, we are a culture that does not like to think in terms of getting older. We actually have three different takes on aging. First, we dismiss aging, associating it with the beginning of the end. We delay aging, going to great lengths to preserve our youth with thanks to our industry's anti-aging beauty products and, dare I say it, plastic surgery. We defy aging. 60 is the new 40. We are society driven by youth, one that constantly focuses too much on the 18 to 49 consumer and not enough on the other half of the population, the 50 and older. Baby boomers are agents of change. Their sheer size alone will greatly impact and influence how we age today and how we will pave the road for future generations. We focus on the baby boomer because in the new economy, this group is hit with new challenges. We are facing a gray tsunami, headed for a crisis with an economic equation that does not add up. A surge in retirees, a shrinking labor force, and an impending deficit in Social Security. However, we did find three countries with proven programs on sustaining care for our aging citizens. So how do we, here in our country, protect the livelihood and economic security of our aging population? We believe one part of the solution lies in universal design, the philosophy of delivering products and services that are user-friendly for everyone. In other words, what was created with one demographic in mind is in fact useful for all. Another example of universal design is Target's clear prescription bottle, created by a design student whose grandmother became ill after she mistakenly took her husband's medicine. To prevent this from happening to anyone else, the student made several universal design changes to a standard prescription bottle, including creating a bottle shape with a flat front surface so you can read the label without having to turn the bottle, a label featuring the most important information first such as drug name and dosage. Colored rubber rings to prevent mix-up between family members. And a prescription information card tucked behind the label so that it never gets lost. Sure, this prescription bottle might have been designed with the older consumer in mind, but it has universal function that appeals to all. Universal design extends beyond products and services and becomes a vehicle for necessary change in the new economy. We need to challenge our existing retirement model and revitalize the workplace. Retiring at 65 leaves many individuals without social interaction, a sense of purpose, or a way to contribute their valuable experience to society. Stop and think for a moment what this could look like for our industry. By revitalizing the workplace with Career Continuum, it protects the financial and emotional livelihood of the baby boomer set to retire in the next 20 years. A new paradigm in the workplace will radically change the way society views aging as age becomes less about a number and more about maximizing valuable experience. Today, people in the same age bracket are widely diverse. Some 50-year-olds are grandparents, while others are just becoming parents, perhaps for the first time. Some are continuing to drive their careers, while others are rediscovering their passion for travel. 
Some 75-year-olds require in-home assistance, while others run marathons. There are nearly 150 million Americans over the age of 40. That's approximately one half of the United States, and it's equivalent to the entire population of Russia. This creates a huge opportunity to, pro to provide a service and resource that, like universal design, will expand the reach and enhance the lives of the population over 40. The goal is to change the culture into one that sees aging with a fresh pair of eyes. We might never become a culture that likes to think in terms of getting older, but we can surely become one that looks forward to opportunities for a more enriching life. We must remember, age is just a number, and life is what we make of it. <laughs>